high-level vegan declares that vegetables are not vegan. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today on TheGuardian.com, vegans. This expert level vegan, after doing extensive calculus and mathematics with the vegan mathematical method, has finally revealed that vegetables are not vegan. All vegans have to stop eating vegetables now. I think it's clear. <laughs> Here we see in this headline, are vegetables vegan? The man taking aim at animal products in organic farming. Even if you avoid industrial farm produce, it's likely that your veggies will have been grown with the help of manure and other animal products. <laughs> vegetables were grown with tofu, love, and kindness. Yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing fact, okay. Like, you have regular vegans who will just eat, like, vegetables and, and milk and they just won't eat meat. But then you have the high-level vegans that won't eat any animal products whatsoever, including honey and other such things. It's, it's really dumb. Okay. But apparently now, not even vegetables are vegan. But before we look more into this ridiculous story, a quick word from this month's sponsor, unsilencedvoice.com. Unsilencedvoice.com is a free speech platform where you can post dank maymays and join communities that you enjoy. Unsilencedvoice.com. Join today. So here we are. Here's a picture of a tractor spreading muck over a field. Most organic agriculture is focused on moo poo, says veganic farmer Will Bonsall. Okay, so obviously, most organic farming relies on fertilizer, as does all farming. And I'm, I'm pretty sure this vegan's gonna say, oh, animal products, how dare you? We can't eat this, this isn't vegan. Now these are the super high level vegans, man. They weigh like 50 pounds, their eyes are bloodshot, their skin is horrible. You know the type. Will Bonzol is a homesteader and a 45 year vegan living in rural Maine with a message for Americans. Your vegetables are very unvegan. Bonzol is an influential member of a small but growing group of vegan and organic veganic farmers who want to revolutionize organic agriculture, which traditionally depends on animals byproducts such as cow manure. Imagine being so insane. Like imagine that your way of life is so, so cultish. Because let's be honest, folks. Veganism is a cult. These people think that eating vegetables gives them superpowers. I always wondered, how does not eating dairy products give you psychic powers? These people think that humans are herbivores. These people think that you can get everything you need from vegetables and not meat, which has everything we need in its purest form. The vegan lifestyle, it can cause a lot of health problems for most people. I haven't seen many healthy vegans, and those that do claim to be healthy, I don't think they're gonna live long, I'm gonna be honest. Have you ever met a vegan that was older than 50? I sure haven't. There is a little bit of a disconnect, even hypocrisy in vegans. We vegans like to put on our plates vegetables grown in methods that are very unvegan, Bonzo said. Most organic agriculture is focused on moo poo, said Bonzel. Cow manure, animal manure, but also blood meal and bone meal, he said. Because those things are wonderful for the soil. Isn't it funny how all of the things wonderful for soil, all of the things wonderful for the human body, nutrition wise, <laughs> just meat, meat and animal products. Did you know that bone meal, the stuff inside bones, okay, is not only have I heard is it like a delicacy and pretty good bone marrow when we're talking about density it's actually more nutritious than meat oh yeah you heard me right bone marrow and bone meal and side bones is more healthy for you and has more nutrients than meat so even if you're out there in the wilderness and you find a carcass but it's been picked clean to the bone do not worry my friends there is food it's in the bone what you need to do is crack open those bones and perhaps cook it first uh, be careful don't overcook it you can make bone marrow soup you can slurp up the bone marrow and have a whole meal have you you ever heard of the bone-eating bearded vulture? It's this creature right here. This is a bird of prey that doesn't prey on anything. In fact, it simply collects bones and drops bones and eats bones. Its stomach acid is strong enough to dissolve bone. It lives entirely off bones. It is a huge bird, it is a powerful bird, and it is an awesome creature. And these birds can live up to 45 years. They're healthy and happy and able to do this because they're able to eat bones. A vegan diet excludes all products derived from animals, 
including meat, dairy, eggs, and honey. Often, these products are avoided for health, environmental, and ethical reasons. <laughs> See, this is why I don't like vegans. It just seems like a bunch of pretentious people who want to feel like they're better than everybody else because they live a certain lifestyle. Gee, does that remind you of any special groups these days? It's like they just want to flex on others and make themselves feel superior because, oh, I don't need animal products or anything with a face. You're not superior. In fact, you're probably inferior to an omnivore such as myself. Or really anybody. You want to talk healthy? Do you know what the healthy diet is, my friends? It's Eastern diets. It is Asian diets that tend to be the most healthy. It's a nice mix of seafood, vegetables, pastas, and meat. Eastern diets have been shown time and time again to promote the most well-being, the best health benefits, and some of the lowest rates of disease. In fact, most vegans are unhealthy simply because a lot of vegan food is simply junk. Grains, 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 pasta, 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 salt, 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 it will kill you. Standard organic vegetable farming practices have used animal-derived products for centuries to boost soil fertility, such as cow manure, with which farmers like Bonzel argue supports large-scale industrialized animal farming in his estimation is unethical. You heard it here, folks. Growing food is unethical. But the question of whether organic farming should necessarily exclude animals is hardly settled. Even proponents of veganic farming describe it as controversial. Yeah, um, you're getting into crazy territory here. You were crazy a long time ago. Oh, I'm a vegan. Look at me. I'm eating a lettuce leaf. Nah, 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 nah. Aren't I so superior? Nah, 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 nah. Oh no, I have a heart condition now. How could this have happened? I guess I just need to eat more lettuce leaves. <makes noise> Delicious leaves. You know, it's funny too, because I have a strong feeling like all these vegans are pretending like their food doesn't taste terrible. Just have a balanced diet, man. Put some pasta in that thing. Put some vegetables. Put some shrimp. Mmm, delicious. Good. Healthy. Okay, so here's a good point, and here's something vegans don't understand. The Rodale Institute helped develop the U.S. Department of Agriculture standard for organic farming. Researchers there are pushing not for veganic methods, but for regenerative organic certification, which they hope can promote animal welfare, social justice, and soil health. What the hell does social justice have to do with farming? Am I living in crazy town? Oh no, these vegetables are oppressed. Voting rights for vegetables. We're at the point in time where our soils have been so degraded that it is actually becoming more and more difficult to grow crops in those degraded soils, said Jessica Lang, a research coordinator for the Rodale Institute. This word, regenerative, is one that really needs to get into the vocabulary of the general population, she said. Yeah, and that's why we need to use manure, we need to use bone meal, we have to use animal products. The soil needs organic material. I saw a video the other day of a bunch of pigs being put into a pit. And then the pit was set on fire. And then the pigs were buried in dirt. Why did they do this to the pigs? Were they just trying to be cruel? No. They were trying to make some healthy, healthy, healthy soil. People, I swear to goodness, all these vegans don't, first of all, they don't understand nutrition. They don't understand the science behind it. They think they do. And they don't understand farming. Our soil is being depleted. The last thing we need is vegan soil. Okay, vegan soil will be garbage soil. Bon Sols is one of just 50 or so vegan farms in the United States, according to research by Professor Mono Seymour of Loyola Marymount University, Bonzel's method of growing perennial food crops with minimal fossil fuel and animal inputs is laid out in his book, An Essential Guide to Radical Self-Reliant Gardening. Well, you could use manure. You could use leftover um, organic parts from both livestock and vegetables. You could be sane, but I guess you're a vegan. The next logical step from that is growing organically, but without animal manure, said Jenny Hall. Yeah, these people are absolutely insane. Um... This isn't controversial. Like, it's not, it's not a question. You don't know anything about farming, okay? And your stupid ideology, your obsession with non-animal products is stupid. It's so stupid. You don't understand the food chain at all. Eat your goddamn meat. Eat meat. 
eat fish, eat seafood, eat a balanced diet. What is wrong with you? If the world adopted a vegan diet, a recent study in science found global farmland use would shrink by 75%. I don't care. Why do we need to shrink farmland? Why don't you tell me that? Do you know how much size and room there is left in the US? We don't need to, to, to get rid of farms. Why? So we can feed Africa? So we can feed India? I don't think so. No. Who are you to decide how much we should farm? Okay, we have vertical farming. We're going to get that someday. We'll figure it out. We'll come up with a new way. But until it's necessary, until it's possible, I don't care. Oh, greenhouse gas emissions. Oh, no, the forest. No, oh, the forest. The forest is being cut down mostly by poor developing countries. If you want to fix that, then you need to tell all of those poor developing countries to stop and starve. That's what you want, vegans. Massive loss of human life. For a long time, no one gave two poops about the organic movement because it was just a bunch of hippies, said Bonzal. I think you mean a bunch of pussies. For decades, many argued if agriculture went organic, we would have to decide which third of the world is going to starve to death because without petrochemicals, farmers couldn't grow the necessary amount of produce. Nowadays, there are lots of people doing it and I'm just another fly on the wall. Okay. I will agree that I would prefer farming be organic and natural, but I also think we should use animal products to do so. There's no reason we shouldn't. Use animal manure. Use bone meal. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. The soil needs it. These vegans are insane. But, but there you have it, folks. Vegetables are not vegan. In fact, in my discovery, I found out the following. Plants scream in the face of stress. Turns out, whenever you cut a plant or they have physical damage, plants emit ultrasonic squeals. Plants scream when they are killed. My friends, I think today that I have learned an important lesson. Plants are not vegan. Vegans, you must stop eating all plants. You must stop, it is not vegan. These plants have rights. Air will be the new vegan food. <sighs> oh, delicious. It tastes like no suffering. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, that air. I love that air. Ooh. Vegetables aren't vegan, folks, and neither are plants. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this <laughs> crazy story? Honestly. Golly, every other time I hear a vegan, they're like, no, veganism is good. You're just, you're just a meathead. I love veganism. Mm, mm, mm. Well, guess what? Vegetables are not vegan and neither are plants. So, um, I don't know what you're going to eat, but plants and vegetables, they're not vegan either. Be sure to let me know what you think. Now, if you like the content that I produce, as always, you can join my subscribe store or my Patreon. All those links are in the description. You can also donate via Bitcoin. Sharing the video also helps dunk on those vegans. Show them the truth. Show them that vegetables are not vegan anymore. As always, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.